Meanwhile, a hugely talented 19-year-old Englishman, Matthew Fitzpatrick from Sheffield, was launching his professional career at Photo Island after completing the US Open, tied 48 and leading amateur. I think it was just the time of the year. It allowed me to fit in seven good events before the end of the year, and that gave me the best chance of getting my card. But it's uh, quite strange how my first professional event does does link to uh, to being Irish somewhat. My dad's granddad is from uh, Emo in Ireland, um, so that he's full Irish. Then my granddad's half, and dad's quarter, and I'm an eighth. So yeah, I think I think that counts. <laughs> So Matt bids farewell to an outstanding amateur career which included the British Boys Championship, an unbeaten Walker Cup debut, the US Amateur Championship and the pinnacle of the World Amateur Ranking. Mind you, he did lose to his dad rather heavily last July. I lost to my dad the week before qualifying for the Open and uh, he tells everyone still to this day, beat me by five, played horrific and Never thought that would happen. <laughs> and um, the week after, went and qualified for the Open, and couldn't believe it. It was uh, just came out of the blue. I played really well that day, and af after that, sort of things sort of took off a little bit. Played the Open, won the silver medal. Played the English Amateur, finished second in that, and then uh, won the US Amateur, which was the for me that's probably the, the highlight of my career so far. Yes, he became the first British golfer to win the US Amateur since Harold Hilton in 1911 by beating Oliver Goss of Australia 4-3 and three at the Country Club in Brookline, Massachusetts. The pressure was there in that terms, the world ranking terms, but to me in my own head, I, I never felt that I was good enough to be there and ended up getting all the way to the final and, and winning. So to have that was, yeah, it was just absolutely ideal and, uh, yeah, I really think that's probably my, my best achievement. Well, the best of many indeed. Having qualified for and finished top amateur at last year's Open, Matt then became the first since the legendary Bobby Jones to hold the low amateur medals for the Open and the US Open at the same time. It was a nice way to end my amateur career. Finished with the 69 on the last day was pretty special. Uh, I felt I'd been playing fairly well all week. Practice rounds, I felt like I was struggling, and then I found something on Thursday. Um, I got off to a quick start and uh, let it slip a little bit, but for me, it's sort of all a learning curve still, being 19. Um, but no, it was, it was a great event, um, and I'd love to play many more in, in the future. Matt has not been shy of seeking advice, having shared the tea with defending champion Adam Scott at this year's Masters, where Matt missed the cut by a stroke. And there were words of wisdom too from Rory McIlroy at Pinehurst. Every time I play with Rory, uh, I've asked him a couple of questions here and there about various things, but um, it's more just the fact that I'm playing with him and we can just chat about normal things like football and stuff like that. So, no, he's, he's been great and I couldn't talk talk higher of him. He's, he's been great to me and for someone as, as good as he is and sort of in the limelight so much, it, for him to be so grounded and particularly talk to me when he certainly doesn't have to, he's uh, really impressed and I know my mum and dad think he's a really nice kid. Matt says he's never had a proper job apart from babysitting his brother for £20 a time, but he's learning fast about this one. Golf's a tough game and you go out tomorrow, I shoot 93 and the next day I shoot 61, you, that's, what, that's what can happen. It's, it's a game of one bad shot can cost you a lot and one good shot can gain you a lot so yeah you never know what's gonna happen I just got to enjoy it while I can and, and take it from there and after a tie for 29th in Ireland worth over 17,000 euro his babysitting days are over